Um, okay, so I'll be talking a little bit about mini PCNL, uh, point counterpoint against my mentor, Dr. Mongo, which is sort of my nightmare here, but I'll go with this. Uh, so what exactly is a mini PCNL? Well, really, it's a PCNL via sheath too small to accommodate the standard nephroscope. And so why would you do that? Well, the volume of renal parenchyma dilated is equal to pi times the radius of sheath squared times the length of tract. Ultimately, going from a 30 French sheath to a 20 French sheath decreases the volume of renal parenchyma dilated by 56%, which obviously has its advantages. There's a lot of, of terminology around this, but when I'm talking about mini PCNL, I'm really gonna talk about just 14 to 20 French. And really it's a set that looks like this. It's fairly simple. There's a simple metal dilator, a sheet that goes over it, and then your scope, which is actually a pediatric nephroscope. Why does it work? Well, it's the vacuum cleaner effect. Uh, really, all the, the fragments are just suctioned out. I'm not great at physics, but it's this Venturi effect and Bernoulli principle, where because of the diameter of the scope and the diameter of the sheath, the fluid sort of gets trapped within there and comes out. And to see that uh, as a real example here, I'll point out that this is a pretty bloodless procedure, not like a standard perk. Uh, the fragments just sort of come out of the, of the sheath without really doing anything other than withdrawing your scope. Looking at it from another view, here's from outside the body. Again, you're just withdrawing your scope and the fragments are coming out. Larger fragments like this. Yes, it's not that one centimeter stone you can just grab out with your standard perk, but there are other advantages to why this is better. So when looking at meta-analyses for mini versus standard, really the proof is in the pudding and finding something that says mini is better or at least uh, equivalent is like shooting fish in a barrel. It was actually a very easy task for me. Here's one comparison of mini versus standard. When you look at stone free rates, they are equivalent. When you look at hospital stay, mini perk is better. When you look at complications from bleeding, the smaller tract, mini perk is better. And here's another one looking at large stones. So you can say, yeah, maybe mini perk is great for small stones, but what about really large stones? Well, this was looking at stones larger than great, greater than two centimeters. Again, every single thing looking at stone free rate, blood, blood loss, blood transfusion rate, hospitalization, they all favor mini perk or stone free rates equivalent, which again, I would say favors mini perk when you're looking at everything together. Really the only thing that consistently favors a standard PCNL is operative time. So yes, it is quicker to put in a bigger sheath and to grab out big stones. However, is a shorter operative time with the same stone free rate worth more blood loss, greater risk of transfusion, and a longer hospital stay? I don't think so. It gets better, right? You can look at the cost. So people have looked at this. In actuality, mini perk is actually more cost effective than standard perk even if you're doing all ambulatory. So I would say, you know, most of my mini perks, almost all of them go home the same day. Most of my standard perks go home the same day, but I have a lower threshold to keep them overnight. But if you're comparing apples to apples, all ambulatory, mini perk is still more cost effective regardless of stone size. So mini perk is cheaper, it's safer, it's just as effective. So now I'll go into predicting the future, which is Dr. Manga's slides, because I can already tell you a few of the things that he's going to bring up here. One is a study looking at pig parenchyma, uh, where they dilated from 11 French and a 30 French, and then six weeks later, they sacrificed the pigs, and they actually looked at, this, at the kidney under the microscope, and there was no big difference. There was no significant difference in the scar tissue there. So in this particular instance, in the pig, it did not make a difference long term 11 French versus 30 French. He's also going to bring up, well, smaller sheath has increased pressure. And they'll say this matters immensely. But I'll say, I don't know that it does really matter, but I don't know that it's been shown to matter. Again, in a pig, his favorite study, they infected some stones, they did a mini perk versus a standard perk in some pigs, and then they sacrificed the pigs. And yes, there was a higher pressure in the mini arm. Yes, there was more time spent with a higher pressure, and yes, there was a higher positive culture rate in the mini arm. However, this has never been shown to be applicable to non-pigs, to people. When you look at this meta-analysis, looking at fever, no significant difference, standard versus mini. Here's another one, no difference, standard versus mini for fever. And yet another, no difference, standard versus mini for fever. 
but then I can make it even better. We can even get a lower fever rate with mini perk when you bring into the vacuum sheath. This is something that's come out in the past couple of years. It's the size of a mini perk sheath. It's a small plastic sheath that's instead of the metal sheath and it's actively hooked up to suction. So it actively suctions out all your dust and smaller fragments and keeps the pressure low. We know that with this vacuum assisted sheath, the renal pelvis pressure is significantly lower and the time with the higher pressure is significantly lower. We know that it's faster. So it makes that equivalent to that standard perk. Lithotripsy time is shorter and the stone efficiency removal is better. And then looking at fever. Here's, these are looking at vacuum assisted mini versus standard mini. So there are multiple of these that show that the, the vacuum assisted mini is better than your standard mini when you look at fever. Here's another one looking at stone free rate. Vacuum assisted is better than your traditional mini looking at stone free rate. So this takes a little bit of deduction here, but if we've established that stone free rate and fever are equal for standard perks and mini perks, and then we move forward and we establish that vacuum assisted mini perk has a lower fever rate, shorter OR time and a higher stone free rate, then you can deduce that the vacuum assisted mini PCNL is definitely better than a standard PCNL. If there was any doubt. Oops. So to conclude, mini PCNL is cheaper, it's safer, and it's just as effective. And with newer technology, it's likely even more effective. Thank you.